Hello again. During our fossil data recovery episodes, we got to meet French paleobotanist Dr. Antoine Bercovici, who besides studying fossil plants, is also very interested in fossil computer chips, of which he takes high resolution dye pictures. But in order to do that, you first need to cleanly get the chip out of its package, an operation known as decapping. He's back with us in California in this episode to demonstrate how he does this. Although it's not 100% foolproof, it is much simpler and cleaner than usual nasty chemical methods. So Antoine is back from Paris and uh, I heard he's a good cook, so we brought him out in the kitchen. It, it's, it's good that the wife is not there and doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do, Chef Antoine? Well, I guess we're going to cook some chips and look at some dyes afterwards. So yeah. yeah. Let's okay. try this. So the first thing to do when you have a, a, a device is to open it up to see the chip inside. And actually I have some that I think are fake. I would like you to, oh, to yeah. try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have a you have an accoutrement of heat generating device. I have my reflow iron, and I have uh, I have okay. this very fancy tool. Well, that's the one I use to do for the for the shrink wrap. Is that going to be hard enough? Oh yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. Well, show so. show us the technique, chef. Okay. Well, we'll first pull the chips out of the board. Uh, what temperature do you want, uh, chef? It, it doesn't matter. We are not going to save those chips, so as long as they get off the boards, it's all what matters. That was easy. We got one. So what's, what are those chips? So this is a PlayStation 1. So I think the one I just pulled out is a CD-ROM DSP. There's also an audio processor. Although there's a crazy guy that reverse engineered the uh, PlayStation 1 CPU, which is standard logic cells. Yep, there's the ROM. So we got a ROM, we got two, three ASICs, we got uh, oh, wow, yeah. something analog -y because that goes to the to the video out, RGB. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one, and maybe a power chip. We're good to go. So I've, I've got uh, about 60% luck with chips uh -huh. and it depends on the manufacturer. So for example Motorola and National Semiconductors usually the epoxy sticks on the die uh -huh. but with some of the brand like those Sony ones uh, the epoxy lifts off uh -huh. and the die stays absolutely intact. So as I said about... So the whole thing is encapsulated? The whole thing is molded in epoxy. Yeah, you really have to crack it. Yeah. Also okay. What Sony chip a la Antoine? <laughs> Go for it. Let's go. Oh, I see. Not hot enough? Uh, it's coming, it's soft here. I can bend it. Okay. I can bend it. Oh, it's coming. You crack it like a chocolate bar. I agree, you. So you want to crack it at the right spot. Yep, there you go. So we are starting to have the, the leaf frame now. And we have a cross section of the die. Okay, let me. So I'm trying to find where the die is. Sometimes it's not always obvious. It can be up or down. But uh, oh, there you go. So oh, I cracked it. I don't think it's hot enough. So I wanted to include this uh, fail first try to show that it requires some technique. In this case, the hitching gun was simply not hot enough. So we just switched to my hot air desoldering gun that we were just using and tried it again. You want to come on my side? I'm on. No, no, I'm on max power with the better heat gun. Alright. There you go, I got it. And now we have a clean die right Thanks there. So. Nice. Okay, oh, I See missed it? I missed it. We'll do another one. So it just fell off? It just fell off. So I just I just pushed it off the, the lead frame there. It was still attached bonded to the 
It mostly holds by the bonding wire inside uh, the epoxy package. Maintaining the die in the package is a tiny bonding wire. So if you just push it slightly off, you're going to break all the bonding wire in the side. I'll, I'll try to capture the whole process. All right. Oh, yeah. That that's much that's better. That's hot. And now yeah. you can see the the corner of yeah, the yeah, yeah. frame. So we can start to peel it off. Do you need a smaller plier? I think it's good. Yeah. There you go. I see the die now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to look carefully for small bits of the box. Yeah, we'll remove there. that. We don't have the deep frame under it, so we're going to just push it and it will fall. Alright. Oh, the lead frame is gone? Yeah, the lead frame is behind, okay, okay. so I did push it off. Out of the way. And now you see the die, it's loose. Uh -huh. Alright. There you go, that's it. So. Done. Well, that's remarkable. That's it. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, so this On to the next one. I have to. Yeah. Nope. Upside down. And here's a rum. That's uh, so a which is the rosin, pretty much. A silver fuss. Uh, mm -hmm. So you boil rosin for in your chimney. It's yeah, that's lot, that's more hot than the so the, the that's popcorning. So the water inside the package just came up. Oh, that's that was the package that made that. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so the water trapped inside the package turned into steam and and cracked the package. So it made this pop. Oh, oh that's that's not well packaged. <laughs> Which manufacturer is that? Well, they all do. This is why uh, when you buy chips, they came packaged in uh, with some. Uh, Desiccant. Oh, so, so the or water, the water the parts. went in, it yep. wasn't there in the first place. Yeah, yeah, you have to bake the parts before soldering them, otherwise you can uh, have popcorning. Mm. That's very usual with BGA package, which have like a printed circuit board. Mm. So if you desolder them, they can pretty much uh, puff up like popcorn. Mm -hmm. All right, and there we go, straight in the middle. All right. Oh, it's nice and clean. They just cut it right off. Very nice. All right. Now let's bring it out. So this one is a DSP for a CD ROM. So that's the, the so chip. large chip. Yeah, it's a nice die. It's what was driving the CD ROM of the PlayStation One. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. I got it. There you go. Yep. One more chip. One more chip. Oh, that's the marker. Beautiful. Excellent. If there is a tiny die inside, we'll have to hunt for it because mm -hmm. it's in the middle, uh -huh. but we don't really know what size of die it is. Uh -huh. well, this uh, is a this is a tiny. Well, so up oh, there you go. So this one has a big one. There we go. So I'm pulling the lead frame off. I missed that. There you go. And now uh, what I can do is that I can push the die from the top while heating it up, and it will just pull off from the package. You just tap it off. So I will just push. Oh, okay, it. I can see it from here. Off. Yeah, a tree. Nope, you got it. Number four. Nope. Oh, you need 
two tweezers. Yeah. Let me get you a second tweezer. Got it. I'll put it sure. right side up. And I, I will give you a, a dice shot under my microscope because I have a nice one colorful of this dye. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so why is yours more colorful? So I have a d d dissecting microscope. So this one is a metallurgical one which has sort of like straight reflection. Mine has a light ring on the side. Yeah. All right, there we go, Sony 94. Some chips which I don't know if they are real or fake. I have one original and then we have two of the Chinese ones and we'll see if exactly the right chip in there. You're kidding me. My goodness. 